What's up people, it's the Phoenix here and today I'm going to show you how to speed up Windows. Okay, so the basic reason why Windows slows down is because you've got a lot of softwares running at Windows Startup. So that in turn increases the boot time and it decreases the performance of your PC. So what we're going to do today is we're going to go ahead and disable all the unnecessary softwares from running at Windows boot time. All right. So, if you're on Windows XP Vista or 7, just hit the start button and type msconfig. And that would bring up Microsoft configuration. And just go ahead and hit enter. Or if you're on 8, just do as I did. Hit start and type msconfig and you'd get this option. So, hit enter and it will run. So, there we have it. <clears throat> and it says general boot services startup and tools all right so we're gonna go ahead and hit startup and you can see it says to manage startup items use the startup section of the task manager and you get a link here <clears throat> okay so we're gonna go ahead and click on this link to open up the startup list on the task manager so click this and you'll have it there yeah so you can see that I've got all these softwares running as soon as windows starts so it would definitely slow down my pc if my hardware is not that powerful all right so i'm just gonna go ahead and disable all these unnecessary softwares from running i'll just leave drivers running as they need to run because i want my devices to work fine so i'm gonna go ahead on utorrent i don't need it so i'm just gonna go ahead and hit right click and there i have the disable option so i would disable it adobe acrobat i don't need this adobe reader i don't need this too out spawning device okay this is a that driver so i need it i don't want this to be disabled and so i'm gonna enable it apache i'm gonna disable it apple push disable bluetooth leave it as it is <clears throat> dropbox disable click those disable and yeah idm itunes skydrive i want this to run and nps and nokia this is still all right and the real networks and definitely the uh, messenger it's a big software all right so what i did is i just left the drivers to run at startup because uh, that that would help my device to work fine and one more important thing yeah if you've got an antivirus on your system you don't need to disable it because if your system is infected with a virus that has been designed to run at startup then and if your antivirus fails to launch then maybe you may lose data or your OS may crash so just leave the antivirus to run at startup so what I did is I just left the drivers running and the software is disabled so that was that was it this is the phoenix signing out for now i hope this helped stay subscribed and hit like thank you